you were invited to worship with an ordained man of God, Bishop Dr. Larry Bryant, overseer of Tabernacle of David Church of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated at 8010 Rockbridge Road in Lithonia. This is Come Expecting a Miracle broadcast. Listen now to the inspiring message of preaching and teaching with Bishop Dr. Larry Bryant. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Here we are again, live in the studio, WIGO, AM 1570, Atlanta's incredible radio. Praise God. As we say in Liberia, how's the body? In other words, how you feeling? Amen. I feel a small virtue. Well, we're not going to prolong it. We're going to go ahead and get into prayer and... Uh, Pray for everyone sick and the shut in, and uh, pray for you know, Elder Kenny. He's just a little bit under the weather, but God's got him. So, Pastor George and I will continue on with the Word of God. Precious God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for your loving and kindness. We thank you for mercy and truth. We pray that the Spirit of God will guide us today, that we will give a message that will be uplifting and encouraged. And, uh, word of encouragement to all those who haven't yet to hear. I feel a virtue. Let your word go forth with healing in it. Let it go forth with encouragement. Let it go forth with deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. amen. God is still on the throne. There's only one God. <clears throat> Jesus is his name in every language. And we appreciate the realness of the Holy Ghost. We're going to go before you. Uh, in the scriptures and I wanted to talk about a a certain type of blessing you see God is the God of the unexpected he's the God of the unexpected blessing and deliverance Matthew chapter 27 I believe it was verse 16 yes sir and they had a notable prisoner called Barabbas therefore when they were gathered together Pilate said unto them whom will he that are released unto you Barabbas or Jesus which is called Christ for he knew that for envy they had delivered him when he was set down on the judgment seat his wife sent unto him saying have you nothing to do with with a just man for I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him but the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that are released unto you? They said, Barabbas. Pilate said unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. God of the unexpected. The unexpected blessing or deliverance is a desire that one may have, but it is often unspoken. It's put in the back <clears throat> because you, 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 you can't see it. You, you desire, but in your heart and mind, it's just that, a desire. No need of even making mention of it because uh, it's just like an uh, impossible situation or something that, for some reason, you don't believe can come forth. And so you don't even put it before God. 
you just put it in the back. But it, it is a need and a desire, but because you can't quite fathom it or think of it, uh, you just don't even ask. But that unexpected blessing is that need, desire that God sees deep down in your heart. And he sees it somewhat buried, not necessarily with doubt, but just, you just don't know how to ask it. It just doesn't seem possible, but the desire is there. So you don't even ask God, it's just an inner thought. <clears throat> the unexpected blessing is that blessing that God sees that you don't even put before the throne. <laughs> and he answers it. My God, he answers it. What a surprise. The un unexpected blessing is the blessing that you didn't foresee. You didn't see it coming. Amen. God all by himself looked down and saw your need. He saw to go by you. And he made it possible. It can come in the strangest of ways. Let's look at this story. The trial of Jesus Christ, though they broke many laws to try him. Pilate being warned of his wife in a dream. Don't touch this man. He's righteous. Don't give him over to death. Don't you pronounce death on him. This is a righteous man. So the Jews had a custom that during the time of their feasts and festivals and what have you that they could show mercy to a prisoner something like what the president does when he gets in office or before he leaves he pardons so Pilate decided to use that tradition to free Jesus he says I understand your custom that it is within your law that somebody can go free you want to give somebody a new chance to start over and what he did was, he went down into the jail and brought forth not just any criminal, but a notable criminal. This man, uh, punishment was a long time coming and it finally caught up with him. A notable murderer, a notable criminal named Barabbas. Now, walk with me a little bit. Here we have... Barabbas in jail awaiting his sentence. No doubt, like I used to have, uh, be in jail prison, jail ministry in St. Louis. And believe me, there is a such thing called jailhouse salvation. <laughs> Amen. And first thing they used to say when you go to jail, here, keep this in your hand, the Bible, and you'll get out. Uh, my ministry was pretty successful in, in, the, in the jails of, of St. Louis. And, but... Sometimes when you're there, you have a change of mind. Even though you may seem as there's no way out, you can win the case or even be released. But in your heart, you might say, well, oh, if I only had another chance. So here's Barabbas. Could you imagine him hearing all that commotion? They got this man called to Christ. They're going to crucify him. But we know God doesn't make mistakes. And Barabbas is in jail waiting his sentence. They finally caught up with him. And he hearing all the commotion and all the uproar. I guess it's a little relief for him. Wouldn't it be for you to know that they're not focusing on you at that time? <laughs> they're not focusing on Barabbas. And he'll live a little longer. They're focusing on this Christ. And could you see Barabbas just knowing he was guilty? Maybe in his heart he said, Lord, I, if in no sense of me, uh, in no sense of me hoping, uh, but boy, did I mess up. And then all of a sudden, put yourself in Barabbas' place. It's a done deal. You're guilty. That's it. You don't have any words to say. What can you say? I'm sorry. It's over. But deep down in your heart, there's a wish, there's a hope. But you don't even put it out there because 
to you is a done deal. Could you imagine how Barabbas felt when they came down to the jail? Barabbas, come. And he, not knowing, comes out to the crowd and he sees that Christ. And he sees Pilate. And Pilate said, Who will you set free? Barabbas, a notable thief, murder, or Jesus, whom you call the Christ? Barabbas still, <laughs> this man's an angel compared to me. <laughs> what are they doing? Making a mockery? And all of a sudden, the people cry out, Barabbas! Oh my God, I felt that. Barabbas! And then Pilate says, but what has this man Jesus done? And the crowd said, set Barabbas free. Pilate washed his hands and he set Barabbas free. Oh my God. The man walked free because of the Christ. But could you imagine he was puzzled. He was confused. I'm guilty. This man is not. I would suggest that that day he was made a believer. I'm just saying because he did not foresee. Uh, he did not foresee that blessing coming. He did not foresee that deliverance coming. Oh, but it came and God did it all by himself. That is the unexpected blessing. A blessing that you don't foresee coming, but it comes anyway. Hallelujah to God. You had nothing to do with it. God did it all by himself. Amen. Hallelujah. God, thank you for the blessing seen and unforeseen. The, the desires that I, 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 I don't know how to express it, so I guess I'll just put it down. But God picks it up. And God sees the need. And God opens the door. And God reinforces the deliverance. And all you can do is stand there speechless because God did it all by himself. You didn't see it coming. Hallelujah to God. But God did. Unexpected blessing. In the book of Kings. Chapter 17. Verse 8. Verse 8. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there, gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in the vessel that I may drink. And she was going to fetch it. He called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a mosel of bread in thy hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not but a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me therefore a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and thy son. And thus said the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord send the rain upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Now here is Elijah on his journey. And uh, God was feeding him every step of the way. And when the food supply was gone where it was, God says, you go. I have commanded uh, a widow to take care of you. Amen. Elijah gets up and he goes on his journey. And lo and behold, he comes to a certain place and there the widow was. This is how you know true prophets from false prophets. When they say God said it, you go looking for it. There it is. That's right. Amen. My God. And there she was making a fire and about to cook her last meal for her and her son she, that they may die. She thought this was her last meal. But no doubt somewhere in her heart, Lord, if we could just have food. But because there was a famine, it was sore, she was a widow, nothing to provide. She didn't even think about praying it. 
because uh, what's the use? I'm just going to accept the situation. Jesus. And we know this is true because when Elijah came to her and saw her, he came to her with the word of the Lord and said, listen, give me to eat. She said, man, this is all I got. And I'm going to cook it. And me and my son, we're going to die. And she was expecting death. Even though she had a desire to live, to eat. But where are we going to get food from? Like, Lord, I'm, I'm just going to accept your will. I, this is all we have. Deep down inside, the there's a desire to live, a desire to eat. But she just, just didn't see it. Ready to face the situation. And the man of God said, you go and you cook, but you give to me first. In other words, give me your last. For thus said the Lord, your barrel will not run dry and God will sustain you. And she did. And she was blessed. Amen. But be careful now, when a man of God comes to you and God says, give your last, and you do. He ends up blessed, but you don't. Guess what? God didn't tell you that. He didn't tell you that. Amen. If a man of God says, God says, give your last, you'll be blessed, and a blessing should come. If it doesn't, the man of God lied. The preacher lied to you. So be careful with these preachers always asking for your money, talking about what God's going to do. You do it once, amen, blessings don't come, amen. I, if, if I were you, I wouldn't do it again. Because it's a, if you give to a real ministry, then you will reap the benefits of it. Right. If you obey the mouth of a real man of God, then you will reap the benefits of it. Not only that ministry, but you too. Amen. And so Elijah said, give it to me first. And she did in obedience. Not knowing that she was about to get blessed because she was going to show an open house to a real anointed of God. You allow the anointing to come into your home. You have reverence to God's spirit and to his people. Then God will bless you. Amen. Sometimes you can receive a blessing based on the people you connect with. And food never ran out. Now, could you imagine this woman who was about to offer the virtue, cook her last meal and die? All of a sudden, unforeseen, unexpected, a man of God come who was real, prophesied it on her, and her food never ran out. Could you imagine the joy, my God, that was in that woman's heart? Could you imagine the appreciation? Of God that was in that woman's heart. Amen. She didn't see it coming. This is the unexpected blessing. The blessing that, that is unforeseen. She didn't see this thing coming. But God did. While she was about to prepare her last meal and die. God told the prophet. I'm, I have commanded a widow to sustain you. She didn't see it coming. But by God I'm going to give her an unforeseen blessing. And this woman was blessed. Lord. Bless me with the blessing seen and unforeseen. God bless me. She didn't pray a prayer, but God saw the need. He knows what you need even before you ask. Lord, we want to appreciate you for the unseen blessing that we didn't see coming, but you saw the need. Oh, my God, and you blessed us anyway. 4436111571. 4436111571. Four four three six one one five seven one. If you want to call in and thank God for the blessings seen and unforeseen, that's the blessings that's yet to come. But you have no idea. But there's a need. You don't know how to express it, or even if it's possible. Oh, but God can see it all by Himself. Lord, you bless me all by Yourself. God deliver me all by Yourself. Lord, you can see everything in my heart. Could you imagine the joy of this woman? I'm so glad I let this preacher in. I'm so glad I gave my last meal. Could you imagine her pastor looking at a boy and said, we didn't see this coming. Oh, but God did. 404-361-1571. I'm going to be the first to say, God, I want to thank you for my blessings, seen and unforeseen, for reading my heart. Giving me deliverance that I, I desired but didn't know how to act. Didn't even think it could happen, but it did. You did it all by yourself. Oh, I thank God we serve a God that can move all by himself on our behalf. You hear me, Pastor? Amen. On our behalf. 
he can move all by himself. He sees the need. He knows what we need, and he goes forth even before we ask. Four four three six one one five seven one. God, I want to thank you for the blessings seen and unforeseen. We appreciate you so much, Lord. Uh, sometimes I call that that inner thought, that inner thought blessing. You're just sitting there and you're thinking. It's just an inner thought. But when you get up and go within a day or two, that blessing comes to pass. You didn't even pray it, but God saw it. We are so grateful for God who can act on his own. Call to you on the air. Yeah, praise God. We lost that. We'll get it again. 44361-1571. I thank God for the many blessings and deliverance that I didn't see coming. But he did it all by himself because he knows what we need even before we yeah. ask. You on the air, caller. Praise the Lord, Bishop LT. My prayer today is, Lord, thank you for my needs, unseen and unseen. And I appreciate you for always being there and seeing all the things that I need. And I pray that he blesses me accordingly. God In bless Jesus you. Name. God bless you. My a God who can see the need. You on the air. Praise the Lord, Bishop LT. I want to thank the Lord for my blessings, seen and unseen. God bless you. Adam didn't say a word, but God saw the need. You on the air. Praise the Lord, Bishop LT. I want to thank God for my blessings, seen and unseen, and for my deliverances that I can see and that I cannot see. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And that widow, oh, what a surprise that day. Son, we didn't see this coming. She didn't see it coming. Eating her last meal, and then she said, we're going to die. She didn't see it coming, but God did. My God, you don't see it coming, but God does. You, you don't, you, God, I don't want to waste your time. Lord, I don't want to waste your time. I'm not going to even pray. You don't have to. God can see it, my God, and he knows it, the need before you ask. That's, this is the blessing unforeseen, the unexpected God, God of the unexpected. He can move all by himself in your behalf. you own the air caller. Praise the Lord, Bishop L.T., calling to thank God for what he has done that I did not expect and thanking him for all things that he has in my future that I don't see, but I know that he's doing it all by himself. Thanking God for being that great blessing in my life that truly I will not be the same without him. Praise the Lord. Jesus, Praise the Lord. I, I, feel, I, feel the prophet, I feel the prophetic utterance. I feel the prophetic utterance. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I command that unseen blessing to come forth. Come forth. I feel the prophetic utterance. Lord, let them receive that unseen blessing. Come forth. You're on the air caller. Praise the Lord, Bishop L.T. I'm just calling to say that I want to thank God. My prayer is I'm thanking God for all blessings, for the blessings that are seen and for the blessings that are unforeseen, and for God being an all-seeing and an all-knowing God in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I feel the prophetic utterance. Hold to Koba behind you. I feel the prophetic utterance. Yes, I'm prophesying. You're on the air. Praise the Lord, Bishop L.T. I pray, I, I pray and thank God for all of his many, many blessings seen and those that are unseen and I thank God for the blessings that are still to come in Jesus in the, in the mighty name of Jesus I feel a virtue, you on the air and praise the Lord, I just want to give God thanks for the blessings that are seen and are unseen in Jesus' name. God bless you. I feel the prophetic utterance. Receive that unexpected blessing. There is an unexpected blessing coming your way. I feel the anointing strong. Praise God. All I ask you to do, that when it happens, praise God, just hey, email me, give me a call, testify, let me know that the word of God is true. But there is an unseen blessing coming. Yo, my God, you never thought of it. You didn't dream of it. You didn't even see it possible. But God saw the need. He so your humility and he has brought it to pass all by himself Thank you, Jesus. my god a god that can move on our behalf 
Oh, because he's real. He sees the need. And he comes down and he blesses us. Amen. Lot was standing in the doorway. And he saw two unexpected strangers walking on the street. And he invited these strangers into his home. This is not a safe place for you to be. You need to come on in. But what Lot didn't know was, amen, that city was about to be destroyed. My God, and those unexpected strangers was God. Amen. Who, amen, is the God of the unexpected. Lot didn't know that city was about to be burned, but God did. His uncle Abraham prayed, and God sent to Lot the unexpected. Man, we are angels. And guess what? What is that Lot said? We come to deliver you and your family. When that fire came down, you know Lot was happy. He didn't foresee the fire coming. Oh, but God did. He sees it. Four, four. We just got a few minutes left. Three, six, one, one, five, seven, one. I feel a prophetic utterance. God is going to bless you with the unexpected. He see it in your heart. You didn't put it on the table. You telling God you're content with what you got, but He sees something different. Amen. He's going to bring that thing to pass, and He's going to make a way for you out of nowhere, because He is the God of the unexpected. The unforeseen <clears throat> miracle, deliverance, blessing. Lord have mercy. The thief on the cross did not expect to be nailed up next to the living God. But he used his words wisely. One thief was crucifying Christ or uh, criticizing Christ and Christ. The other thief said, leave him alone. This man has done nothing. And he just so happens to say, when you get in your paradise, remember me. And what a surprise he received. Amen. This day, you should be with me in paradise. God bless you. God bless you. And, and when he, spirit left his body, could you imagine when he opened his eyes in Abraham's bosom? What a surprise. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Precious God, we thank you after the Holy Ghost. I feel the virtue. Go ahead and worship from wherever you are because I feel the virtue going forth right now. Somebody's praising God right now. God bless you and God keep you. We appreciate you and we love you. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow at the MRI building for our 1 o'clock praise service, 2 o'clock miracle service. We love you. We appreciate you. Let the Spirit of God keep you. Jesus, praise God. I believe in the impossible. I believe in miracles. God is in control of all the affairs of men. According to your faith, be made whole. Until next time, God bless you. Somebody do it. Somebody do it in this room. You have been listening to Come Expecting a Miracle broadcast with Bishop Dr. Larry Bryant, overseer of Tabernacle of David Church of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated at 8014 Rockbridge Road, Lithonia, Georgia, 30058. Join us each Sunday for our 2 p.m. miracle service and at 8 p.m. on Wednesday for Bible study. And for the 24-hour prayer line, call 770-912-0433. 770-912-0433. To make a donation to this ministry, you may do so at Tabernacle of David Church, P.O. Box 390156, Snailville, Georgia, 30039-9997, or email us at drlbryant at t-o-d-c-a-d-i-n-t-l dot com. Tune in each Saturday at 12.30 p.m. for an inspiring message of faith with Bishop Dr. Larry Bryant, overseer of Tabernacle of David Church of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, on WIGO 1570 AM, Atlanta's Incredible Radio.